Silver prices are up more than 17% in August. Of course, you probably already knew that. And here to talk about a little more than just the precious metals, Andrew Chan, and he's the co-founder of Pure Funds. Andrew, glad to have you in the studio. Thanks for having me, Joe. So Andrew, a lot of people are probably wondering, um, when I'm looking at silver, uh, there's also the option of ETFs. If they're looking at silver the way they do with gold, they see it as the precious metal in the ETF. But silver is so cheap already. I mean, $21 an ounce. Why, if, why is there any reason to get into ETFs? Um, well, there's many types of ETFs. You have the physical and future types of funds, as well as mining funds. And like you mentioned, silver performance has done well. One of the most hated sectors throughout the start of this year has been the mining space. And a lot of these companies have gotten thrown out and people have completely forgotten about them. But if you did forget about them and didn't look at them recently, at the end of June, we noticed that a, a, a near-term bottom had been formed in many of these companies. Uh, long-term bottoms and uh, all-time lows in some of them. And these companies have recovered uh, pretty significantly. And if you missed that boat, you could have missed potentially 50% gains in some of these names. So having a basket of mining companies, it can be difficult to pick individual winners, but by being able to play the entire space by buying one ETF of a mining company makes it a little bit easier. And there's also tax benefits where you don't have to pay a collectibles tax if you're buying a basket of miners versus the actual metal. Interesting. Um, so when, when, is there a comparison to the gold ETFs at all? Um, so with silver, there's been a better performance than gold. They tend to have the same uh, fundamentals, whether you're buying the physicals, they, they tend to uh, pair each other very well, as, as do the miners. But silver itself, having so many industrial uses, makes it uh, an incredible ETF due to industrial uses, as well as this increased demand for the physical jewelry and possibly as a monetary currency. Sure, so you had mentioned the mining companies. Um, what, what's the difference though for you know, these miners versus uh, gold miners? Right, so uh, one, one problem that we've seen for the silver space particularly is that with the recent price decrease in the spot price of silver, many of these mining companies throughout parts of this year have been operating at losses where the spot price is actually lower than their cost of production. So when you have an issue like that, it brings out many different new supply constraints that maybe take place now or might not take place until the future. So what we're seeing is with a price recovery, these names that were looking horrible, being that they're operating at losses, can quickly snap back and start returning some pretty significant gains. Are there any miners that you think investors should be looking at? I love the small cap space. I'm a fan of the junior miners. I think they were punished the most out of all of them. And I think there's many ways to play them. If you don't know the individual names, I think purchasing a junior silver ETF, which is one that we do offer, is an interesting way to play that entire space while diversifying your company risk away. And so finally, if you're looking to get into the space, you're specifically looking at silver miners versus gold miners. Uh, what, what, what's the upside potential? And also, what are some of the drawbacks? Certainly. Well, people look at spot metal prices versus the miners, and typically the miners are a higher beta play, meaning that they move more. So on the upside, they can move more. On the downside, they can move more than the spot metal price if mm. they're actually mining. But the junior space on top of that is actually a more beta play, one with more movement than the senior producers. So these junior miners can possibly give you more bang for your buck. All right, Andrew Chain of Pure Funds, thanks so much. Thanks so much for having me, Joe. For The Street, I'm Joe Doe.